Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is definitely different than the normal video. Um, I am going to be sharing an experience that I have personally had. Um, May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Um, and for those of you who do not know, um, I was diagnosed with skin cancer last year. Um, and have had surgery to remove it. I am fortunate to have caught it very early um, and to have had to have a less invasive um, treatment plan than other people have. Um, so I vlogged my experience and I never shared it. I don't know why I had plan to but I figured you know now is the time to share it um, and you know you always think that it's not gonna happen to me until it does <laughs> um, so I'm just a normal person I work a regular job Monday through Friday and just an average person and you know I was diagnosed with it so um, let's just start from the beginning I guess I was diagnosed with basal cell carcinoma in August of 2021 I had gone in for a routine dermatology checkup. I go every year. Um, I've had one mole removed and a couple of lumps um, and everything has come back normal. I've never really had any dark moles that are irregular shape or anything like that. Um, I don't really have any moles. I have like freckles. Um, and I had this little bump on the inside of my nose right by my eye and it looked nothing like what you are taught skin cancer looks like. Um, so I didn't think anything of it, at least nothing severe. I did not think that it was cancer. Um, and I just kind of thought that it was just like a little lump and they would probably cut it out and do a test and it would be fine. Um, and that would be it. Well, I went in and normally my doctor does like the head to toe scan. Um, she normally starts at my feet because I have like cosmetic skin concerns on my face um, that I work to address with them. Um, so normally we start at my feet, work my way up because there's more to talk about up here. So before she even started the exam, she came around to the side and looked at it and she goes, that's concerning. That could be cancerous. And I was like, okay, great, great. So I, she did the rest of the check and she goes, I want to do a biopsy of that today um, because I think it could be skin cancer. And so she did. And normally like labs, biopsies, you hear like within the week. Well, like two weeks had gone by and I had not heard anything. So I was just kind of like, well, I guess no news is good news. Um, and then one day I got a call. It was about 4.20 in the afternoon. So I was getting ready to pack up and go home for the day. And I got the call, um, from one of the nurses at the doctor's office. And she said, your biopsy came back, um, and you have basal cell carcinoma. So we would like you to come back in so that we can do what's called a Mohs procedure. Um, so it is a surgery. 
that you go in for and what they do is they dissect one layer at a time. So they peel off one layer around the area and they take it to the lab and they cut it into quarters and they look at each quadrant separately. Then they find if there's cancer cells in what quadrants they're in and then they come back and they pull from just those quadrants. So the goal is to kind of start like this and funnel down to get just to that one specific spot. Some people aren't as fortunate as I was and they have to, um, you know, kind of close up and then go do a, more of an in-depth surgery to dig deeper. Um, but I was very fortunate in the fact that they came back um, twice and took two different um, additional biopsies and were able to remove the cancer cells um, in those trips. So I was very fortunate. My operation took less than two hours. Um, so it was pretty easy and I was numb. Um, now it was, I was awake and I do have a couple of videos that I'm gonna insert into this video of right after. I'm not talking in those videos because I was in the doctor's office, so I wasn't like narrating a YouTube video um, <laughs> while I was having surgery, but you will see um, what I looked like. So um, I'm happy to report that I went back for another appointment about a month ago and everything looks good and they didn't find any other spots. Um, and then I go back again in a couple of months. Um, now I will show you, you can kind of see right here that I still have like, it's a little deformed still. The skin is tight. Um, and it's not quite back to where I was. Um, like from far away you can't really tell but up close it kind of like gives me like a under eye bag and like it's a little overlapping over my eye. Again, very cosmetic thing. Um, they did say at my last appointment that if it's still like that um, in October, which will be my one year mark, that um, if it's like that, they'll have me meet with the surgeon and then they may do like a steroid or something to um, help loosen the scar up um, that should relieve some of that um, tight pulling that it's doing. But again, very cosmetic, but I, I told them, I was like, I know it's kind of like superficial to say this, but like I like to like wear makeup and do videos and stuff. So like if we could try to get my skin and my face back to the way it was, that'd be great. If not, whatever, I'm just happy to not have cancer. Um, a little bit of backstory though about me and, um, I'm someone who loves being outside. Summer is my favorite season by far. Um, I love being outdoors. I love being active outdoors. I love just laying outside. I love laying in the pool. I love going to the river or lake and being on a boat. I love all those things. I love going to the ocean. Like I just enjoy being outside. And um, a few years ago, I got really serious about my skin and my skin care. And I became someone who religiously would wear sunscreen. Um, and I still am to this day. Like I keep sunscreen in my car just in case I need it. I have sunscreen in my purse. Like I always have sunscreen. Um, and I always make people around me put sunscreen on. Um, also in the last couple years, I have grown my hat collection. I was not really somebody who wore hats before, 
I'm still not really a big hat person, but if I know I'm going to be outside for extended periods of the day, I will wear a hat um, and just try to reduce any sun exposure that I have. Um, I, I'm i going to continue to go out in the sun. like. That's just who I am. It makes me happier. Like, I enjoy it. I'm just going to be a little extra cautious. And that's kind of all I wanted to get across in this video is that it can happen to you. Just take as many preventative steps as you can um, to reduce the percentage that it could be you. The possibility that it could be you. Um, so that's all I wanted to come on here and say. But I did, um, like I said, vlog my recovery. Um, <laughs> the week before my surgery, I was extremely sick. I thought I had COVID. I tested negative like three times, but I just had an awful, awful cold. So just disclaimer that I sound terrible <laughs> in those videos, that's why. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, I'm definitely not a skin cancer expert or anything, um, but I can speak on behalf of my experience. If you guys have any questions, um, just let me know in the comment section below. And I wish you all very happy, healthy lives, and I hope that no condition that you get, um, you know, keeps you down. Just try to be safe. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let's jump into the vlog portion of this video. Alrighty, so this morning I am supposed to have my surgery. Um, I'm feeling okay, so hopefully they will not turn me away. Um, I got up and showered and threw my hair in like some twists and then a braid at the bottom so that way it's out of my face. Um, so the site is right here that they're going to be working on, so very close to my eye. So um, we'll see how this goes, I guess. It is day two. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Yesterday, I just had to take one round of ibuprofen and one round of Tylenol um, to just kind of manage any discomfort. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm doing okay. I just kind of washed my face. <laughs> just kind of took like a wet washcloth, but um, you can see I still have some bruising around this eye and this eyelid is very puffy and heavy like my upper eyelid. Um, I do normally have a little bit hooded but not this much. <laughs> like that is very puffy. Um, so my plan is to try and ice quite a bit today. Um, and then... We're gonna see how things go on this side, but I might take this bandage off tonight. We will see. But doing okay, um, not much discomfort. It's feeling fine this morning. Um, haven't had to take anything for pain. Um, and we're like 24 hours post-op right now. So this is what we're looking like. We're day three. I took my big bandage off last night. Um, I have some tape marks from it. It took me like a really long time to like calibrate. <laughs> like when I took it off, this eye could see like perfectly fine. And then this eye was like so blurry. It, it was really weird. I had to like sit down, take a couple minutes to like get myself together. Um... So still quite puffy. Um, I decided to not drive into work this morning. 
Um, but I might try to get a ride later. I don't know. We're just going to see how we feel. Uh, this eye is also still quite puffy. Um, but like I can see out of it just fine. Um, I think I'll show you the incision. I'll take my bandaid off because I have to wash it anyway. So graphic content warning. Um, you will be able to see stitches and the incision and it, it's a little deformed. So if that's not for you, you could probably stop watching this video at this point. Here it is. I have like tape marks all over my face, which my skin doesn't normally react to that stuff, but it is now. And I just washed my face, so it's a little bit red, but yep, that's what it looks like. A little bit deformed, but we'll get there. We're on day four, graphic content warning. All right. Looks pretty good today. Like, I can open my eyes. <laughs> um, my bruise is starting to yellow, but actually doesn't look awful today. So, um, I just cleaned it. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my bandage on it with some Vaseline. And I'm actually going to work and going to put some makeup on today. So, show you what it looks like with my lovely bandage on too. I got some makeup on, look a little more presentable. Managed to get freaking mascara on my band-aid. I mean, it's kind of in the way, but yeah, so that's great. But that's okay, because I'll be changing it later. So here I go to work. It's day five. My bruise is turning yellow, which I'm actually excited about because I think that will mean that I'm done bruising. Like this is the worst it's gonna get. Um, and my Band-Aid covers most of that. So, looks pretty good. Stitches are still in. We are on day six. Um, I think one of my stitches is out. I can't really tell though. <laughs> I didn't look back closely when I first started. But... Wow, this lighting is doing nothing for my skin. I look like I'm under one of those blue lights where it's like, look at all the sun damage. Awesome. Um, but it looks pretty good. It's, I think the swelling has gone down some, like I can almost fully open my eye. Uh, obviously this is all still swollen right there, but uh, it looks pretty good. So I'll just, Put more Vaseline on because there are still stitches in there uh, and cover it for the day. All right, day seven. Um, it looks about the same as yesterday. Uh, still had the yellow bruising. There is at least one stitch in there. I can feel it, um, but looks about the same. So, yeah. It is one week post-op. Um, I feel like it looks pretty good. Uh, it's still healing. There's still at least one stitch in there. Um, I feel like my face is the most back to normal it has been. Uh, it still looks a little bit funky, but um, it looks pretty good, I think. So it feels fine. So just gonna keep wearing my Band-Aid um, until it heals a little bit more. Okay, we are at day nine I think for some reason I feel like it looks more swollen today uh than it did yesterday but the actual like incision itself looks really good it's like starting to scab over um there is at least one stitch in there now I'm thinking there's two left in there um but yeah I don't think it looks any better today but the incision looks good so that's good um <laughs> My eyebrows look good. I did them yesterday. <laughs> I left my band-aid on though, so I didn't do this whole like front section. So, uh, but it looks pretty good. Okay. See you tomorrow. We are on day 10. Please excuse my hair. I have not done it yet. Um, it looks pretty good. I think all the stitches are out. One definitely came out this morning because it was sitting like right here. Um, but 
it's still looking a little deformed right here so it's actually wednesday so my plan is to like wear the band-aid the rest of the week and then keep it uncovered this weekend and see how it's looking um but here's what it looks like it's healing really well the actual incision it's just this is still like puffy and like pulled so it is looking a little strange but sorry leo keeps whacking into my hand there um but it looks good so i forgot to record this morning so now i am back it's like 10 o'clock at night don't mind the water running the cat is drinking out of the tub in the background but um so i obviously still have some makeup on from the day but i just took my band-aid off and the incision looks so good itself however i still have that like skin pulled over like obstructing my eye like the inner eye is covered from it um so yeah this is what it's looking like i think i'm gonna wear the band-aid to finish the week um and then probably like this weekend try to have it uncovered a little bit um, and see how it does and then maybe have it uncovered for work next week. So we'll see, but this is what it looks like. All right, you guys, it's the next morning. The incision site looks really, really good. Um, I think today is going to be the last day I wear my bandaid. So that's good. <laughs> 